Reason 12.2.2 has been released. This is the newest version of Reason. It was released today or maybe late last night. Um, and this version basically is going to be fixing a lot of bugs, enhancing some of the new features in Reason, and further rolling out the update to high definition graphics, high resolution graphics, which why they weren't all there when Reason 12 launched is a whole other thing. But let's just walk through these patch notes. This version of Reason should be available to everyone by now. If you just log into Reason along the top, it should say, Reason 12.2.2 is released. Download now. Um, so click that, download, and hopefully this will be a slightly better experience of Reason 12.2 for, for those of us that have been, for those of you that have been experiencing issues with Reason 12. For me, on an Intel Mac, things have run really smoothly. I haven't really encountered many errors, um, but it has been frustrating to have the high definition, high resolution issues. But I've seen a lot of reports from a lot of you telling me that you're having a lot of crashes, bugs, plugins acting weird. Uh, so hopefully this fixes that. And regardless of the status, please do leave a comment down below letting me know if this version of Reason is working better for you because it's really important for me to know as I think about doing an updated review of Reason 12 about uh, how stable it is. I also want to let you know before I jump into these patch notes that I've got a free Reason mixing template. You can click the link below to download it. It'll help you mix better, faster, louder, easier. Uh, it works for Reason 11 and Reason 12. So let's dig through the details of these patch notes. First, they've added additional high resolution graphic objects, which is really nice. We're slowly but surely uh, getting to a fully high resolution version of Reason. Great to hear it. So it all looks a little smoother now, but it's still not all the way done. Second, they fixed a major bug that they introduced with the last patch, uh, where the whole DSP and calculating section of the transport was always the wrong color. Now it should be the right color and much easier on the eyes and much more readable. They are saying that they have improved the stability when searching in the browser. I haven't had any problems with that, but um, hope that works. They fixed an issue where you could have duplicate, um, when you have duplicate refills. Um, so I, again, I hadn't seen any of those bugs, nor had I experienced the bug that reason crashed when loading corrupt Rex files, but I'm sure that is a very frustrating bug. I've seen things like that in other programs. So I'm glad to see that get fixed. There's also a new version of Mimic, which includes the following fixes. And it's really good to see this. Improved timing in the advanced stretch mode. Uh, they fixed a bug for modulating the start position in slice mode, triggering slices outside of the range. Um, they've improved how legato mode triggers. And they fixed a bug uh, with the way that certain uh, wave samples in melody stretch mode would cause a crash. All in all, this is a really just a maintenance patch. Um, but is a, the, are these welcome improvements? Yes. For those of us that have been having crashes, this will hopefully make Reason a little more stable. Please let me know in the comments if it does. For those of us where things have been running smoothly, it'll be nice to have the bug about the transport fixed, nice to have the high resolution graphics, more of them, and also just the slight improvements to Mimic are welcome. So there you have it, Reason 12.2.2. Be sure to update. You'll definitely have a better experience with this than the previous version of Reason. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.